Hello there, everyone. My name is Oversoul. This is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome back to Oxenfree 2. And, uh, now, as I said in the last episode, we're gonna go confront these children because we don't have any other choice. Last time I did this before the game crashed, I actually tried to sneak out. And then. What was that? The ghosts uh, knocked that is, down, so we get that caught. Riley? Are you in here? Okay, let's take a breath. Take a breath? You're standing in time devotional, you disgusting piece of garbage! Do you have any idea where you are? This building? These walls? Okay. I know you're upset, Olivia, but let's talk, okay? We're here. Let's talk. Talk? <laughs> I don't talk to earthworms. Earthworms wouldn't be able to understand. Understand what? What are you even trying to do? Is parentage? Parentage has no idea I'm even here. My aunt and uncle are clueless. They never approve of the ceremony. It's off chart. I'm taking it myself. Olivia. Charlie, take them down. You have your knife, right? My knife? Are you okay, kidding? Okay, whoa, slow down. This is getting insane. Charlie, focus up. Don't listen to their bullcrap. Come on. She was nice to me before. What does that even mean, nice? I really- Charlie, there's nobody here that can make you do anything you don't want to do. I gave you a second chance at the waterfall. Show me you earned it. I- Right. God. Olivia, I'm- Olivia, I- I don't like this. Who gives a crap what you like? I- I don't. I'm not quitting, but- But what, okay, Violet? just leave her alone, Olivia. You didn't see her at Charity Point. She's had a rough night, right, Violet? I- I- Nothing has even happened yet. It's all noise and fury. They haven't fixed it. Tonight is the blue moon. Yanis is aligned. Don't you get it? This is once every 10, no, 20 years. Once this is done, we are all set. Absolutely nothing is going to- I'm, Hold on. I'm sorry, Olivia, but I'm out. <laughs> what? Yeah, That's the right I can't move. do this anymore either. You're both out? We, we just- In many forms of games, being out of bounds refers to being outside the available playing area and can Please. result in severe oh, penalties. Yeah, shut up! Sounds like when the ghosts are threatening us, we're pissing them off. The power. Flicking a switch isn't scary, guys. God damn it. Olivia, what? Hey, lady, I don't know what the f you're doing here, but your house huh? look there's a ghost at the top of the screen what do those little triangles do again don't mess with it those things are dangerous Olivia, find find and see and we can shelter it's a particle of grace luna is speaking to us wait olivia if you both want out then go i know my place in this universe wait olivia stop Crap, Riley, we have to stop her. Get a radio. Okay. Damn it. This oh, confrontation God. here is where the game crashed on me before. And I think it's because of this. The way it, like, shakes and rattles and rolls. Riley, no! No! Olivia, this is... You're crazy Riley, if you... Get the hell out of my way! Olivia! No, wait. Riley, she helped me. You, you... What? She talked to you before? She pretended to listen to your prattle? Wake up! This is not your race. Oh, not again! Oh. Please. Okay, this sucks. Can we stop this, please? I see the radio. It's over... Crap, it's... Charlie! Can, Riley! Can you get out of my way, please? Yeah, I'm going I'm sorry, for Olivia, but... Riley's... Just Ow! Move. Fine! Fine! Jesus! Oh no, you don't. Get away from her. Get out. Just shake off. These reality and time bending oh, ghosts God. really do not want us to succeed. Be amazed by Luna's glory, maggots! Oh, will you just shut your trap? Change it back! It does what it needs to. We are only custodians. You're all so fortunate. You can't control this, Olivia. Not even a little bit. Oh, shut up! She's right, though. These ghosts do what they want, and you're being used. No! There we go. 
Well, made it past where it crashed before. Fingers crossed it doesn't crash now. I need this to work! Give me my radio! This? This? It's over. All of this is over. I need this to happen tonight. It's the blue moon. What are you talking about? It's our parents. Shut up. Don't talk to them about it. It's... It's... It's none of their... It has nothing to do with them. Go on, Charlie. What's all this about? Charlie. It's her parents. It's her parents. They were part of this cult. Cult. It's not a cult! Yep. They believed in this stuff, and they died in that plane crash, and she's been living with her aunt and uncle for the last two years. It's not a cult. It's a faith, and it's real. Tonight only proves it. I don't know if tonight really I don't know, man. What is it exactly that you believe in, Olivia? I believe sometimes it's better to just stay. What do you mean, stay? Just stay in a moment that you know won't last. But that you know is better than anything that will ever come after. Parentage believes that all time, all matter is constant and persistent. And you can talk to other times, other versions of you of loved ones on certain days when the Lunar Veil is weak. Tonight's the blue moon. And if you give me back my radio, I'll be able to bring them back. I'll be able to live in that memory of them forever. You almost got your friends killed to hang out with people who are already dead. Not exactly an even trade. Whatever. I mean, she's right. There are beings on the other side. You've seen them too. They're not what you think. They they're, can help. No. Help you, help me, help everyone. They're tricking you. They're Just bad. Just give me back my radio. They're angry dead you. people. No. No one will care when you die. Believe that. Sorry, but These you can't beings. be trusted. I think they're the ghosts of a World War II relic. What exactly have these things said? Leave is possible. Uh oh, I here we go. Um feeling God, not again. Stop it! You know, I like you. I like you a lot, Riley. I really do. I wish this didn't have to be so hard for you. This sucks, right? It sucks. You hate it. I hate it. Nobody wants to see their friends possessed. Nobody wants to feel possessed. I'm sorry, the night's progressed to the point where I can speak a little more freely. My name's Alex. Oh? These are my friends. Wait, you're not? From the submarine? The, the Canaloa? No, but they're around. Some of them anyway. So these are different it ghosts? all been us. Just mostly. We were teenagers. Like Olivia and her friends. Wait, we wait! We went to Edwards Island, I don't know, years ago, months, weeks from now. Oh, shit! It used to be a military base, but now it's... They got it, Ren. Thank you. She said her name is Alex. They're the characters from the first game. That's the cast of the first game. They died. Holy shit. Oh, what a twist. Oh, my God. Wow. Wow. Okay. Wow. Oh, okay. great. We got stuck. That's the point. And now we can't get out. Oh, they got stuck. We we just need in a time loop. Boost. They didn't I'm die. Still unclear on how the whole thing will work. Um, what kind of boost? Riley, listen to me. You have been the arrow in my side for a while. But we Whenever played as you in the first game. Close, it's never quite worked. Never stuck. But this time it will. And do you know why? I've never tried it with Olivia. And she has a fire in her that will burn away every obstacle. You aren't the hero of this story, Riley. Remember that. Olivia's not the hero here. She, she's a kid. As was I. Your plan with the transmitters? It's a good one. It is. It just might stop us. If that's what you want. Do you know what you want, Riley? Do you? Because I've traveled a million miles and a million more years just to watch you eat breakfast. 
Uh, Jesus uh, Christ. Uh, all right, uh, the, that that was real. Holy right? shit. I was just... Uh, They're teenagers. God. All this time, I thought it was the submarine. Me I thought, too. I thought that everything was just them. That they yeah. were the beings Olivia was talking to. But it's kids. It's just kids. It, it, it's kids that go to Kimina High. That probably did lawn work for their parents. I, I don't know. It just changes things. But they're really stuck. And we're fighting them off. It just... It's hard to believe. It's hard to believe any of this is really happening. What? You feel bad for them now? I feel differently about it now, I guess. Ultimately... We still have to do what we have to do, but uh, I feel less great about the whole thing. Not that I felt great about it at all, but yeah, because that fucking sucks. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Garland, right? Wow. That's the last location. We should head out. Huh. I guess. I mean, at least Olivia doesn't have her radio anymore. It takes a wee bit of pressure off, but we still need to finish the transmitter array. It's not over yet. Not that this was going to end any other way. Yeah, we should go. Holy monkey tits, I can't believe that. God damn, so the hero, the protagonist, the playable character of the first game is the villain of this one. And it's not even by choice, it's just that after the events of the first game, she got stuck in a, they got, they all got stuck in a time loop and couldn't get out and they're trying to find a way out. And it, unfortunately, they've kind of like, been trapped so long that they've gone crazy and are now using evil methods to get free, as it seems. So we gotta put a stop to them. They're tra it's a tragic villain story. Jesus Christ. I think I mentioned it before, because I only did one playthrough of the first game. Right? I did a let's play of it. Wow, that music is loud. <coughs> uh, can we... Sorry, but, but could, could we just take a breather for a second here? Sure. I mean, yeah, we earned it, I guess. Two minutes. I'll get back to my thought in a minute. I'm gonna see whatever this is. So, parentage is just moon gazing and yoga mats. That's good to know, I guess. They actually remind me of another group like them. The Migration? I remember when they were pitching tents in the 90s. But the actual act? The natural act? Migration. Pretty interesting. How baby birds do it instinctively. So sometimes programming, like bird programming, has a glitch. And birds will actually fly north. You know, instead of south. And the ones that do, they, you know, they hook up. And suddenly, we have a whole new generation of birds going the wrong way. You know, I wonder about the other birds. The ones flying the natural way when they see birds going in the opposite direction. And I just wonder how many of them change their mind, turn around. I wonder how many of them find a different way. <sighs> you know, this reminds me of that story I told you. I'm pregnant. Uh, beg pardon? <laughs> I found out before I took the job. Um, <laughs> two months. Ah, well... And I do have that 2020 hearing, or... Yeah. That makes sense, then. Uh, that makes sense. Congratulations? Based on the I'm flash sorry, is forwards? This a balloons and yay type of thing, or, uh. Let me, uh. Yeah, let me know there. Uh, sure, yeah, balloons. Balloons! Thanks. Thank you. Uh. Okay. I am understanding more why you'd want to take this job. Security, you know? I, I had a sense of security. Maybe you're planning to move back. I don't know. Actually, actually, I'm gonna... I don't know why I'm talking so much. So, I'm just gonna take one colossal, uh, metaphorical step back and let you drive our, uh, little chat here. Starting now. Step taken. Look, Jacob, I just needed to say it out loud. I haven't told anyone yet. You're technically not supposed to before three months, but whatever. Uh, if you don't already know, which one would you prefer, a boy or a girl? It's definitely going to be a boy. I, I have no idea when you can, you know, uh, identify. I know it's a boy. And uh, any names? 
Rex. And if I'm prying, please say so. I was actually thinking Rex. A little boy named Rex? That sounds great. It will look awesome on a Little League sheet. Why that one? I mean, don't get me wrong, cool name. Super cool. It's their name, Rex. I guess I'll never know how I came up with it. So, uh, bird's eye, how do you, you know, feel overall? About it. Petrified in just every way possible and more ways to be invented, I'm sure. Yeah, sure, but hey, how often are things as scary as we think they're going to be, you know? Well, tonight, I mean, I mean... Tonight is a bad example, yeah, but still. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, maybe this is weird, but um, thanks for telling me. I appreciate it. Is that weird? <laughs> You're welcome. Not many now. Lucky me. Boy, night of surprises. But it's, uh... It's nice to have one that's different, in the good way. Come on, one last transmitter. I think I know a good spot. Right. Okay, so what I was gonna say before that interesting conversation came to light was, um... But the spot, isn't the spot the church where we can't get to because of the lock? They, she said they had to be above sea level, and there's only three spots on the map that are that. I guess we are going that way. He's just taking the fastest way he knows. Oh, good. So, I guess I don't... Can I ask you the dumbest question in the world? Oh, here's the conversation I, I said in the last episode dumb. got skipped. Embarrassing. Row a sad rock. The 3 a.m. food friends thing that I mentioned in the last episode? Yeah, sure. Why not? Because this it's is dumb. It. It's the dumbest, but, but I'm still asking. Do you uh, want to be friends? after this and like just friends legit no prefixes and not even like best friends more like it's 3 a.m i need a cheeseburger and a cherry danish who would join me on this quest yeah i'm i'm in but dude that is not the dumbest question do you want to be my friend Ugh, what am i nine I, i'm happy with your answer but still it's a dumb question not really but I'm still happy. So, we are officially friends without prefixes. What do we call this new friendship? It needs a title. For, for, uh, you know, the record? You already named it perfectly. We are 3 a.m. food friends. That's, like, a thing. Or, rather, we're making it a thing. Right now. Hell yeah, 3 a.m. food friends. Yes, thing made. All right, well, let's survive the night, and maybe someday we can get drunk playing mini golf. <laughs> I love Jacob. He's got to be my favorite character in this game, quite frankly. Okay. So what I was saying before is I only did one Let's Play of... Oh, now you can be 3 a.m. Food Friends because it is 3 a.m. Anyways, I only did one Let's Play of the first game, right? I only played through it once. That was before I realized that if you play it a second time, it remembers you played it before, and it does more weird time loop shit in, re shit in regards to that. And canonically, you're supposed to play the game more, like, at least two times through. But each time you replay that game, unless you go back and erase your save file, each time you replay that game is another time loop that Alex is stuck in. So... That is canon, that she gets stuck in an endless time loop. There is no happy ending in the first game. And this game here confirms it based on the fact that her and her friends are the ghosts that have been terrorizing us all night. In the first game, it was the World War II vets uh, that died on that submarine. But in this game, we thought it was the same ghosts, and then it turned out to be... Al God damn, man, my mind is still blown over that. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, we should be able to open this lock now with our newfangled radio. Just like we did with the one Parentage was using. Oh, great. We got lucky there. This confangled doohickey. Just gotta keep scrolling until I feel a vibration. Okay, not in the lower numbers, that's for sure. Oh. 
here we go. You know, it always blows my mind that someone had to uh, invent the bridge. Like, I know they happen naturally, lightning hits a tree and it falls down and all that. But at least once, at one point, there was some guy looking at a river going, Hey, wait a second. We can just go over it. They, uh, <laughs> they put this one up in the late 1800s. Damn. I guess that's why I'm thinking about and it. And it's still standing. How people must have looked at it, the bridge. And for some people, it was their only way to work. Maybe it was where they well, had I'm their sure first kiss, I'm sure it's right? maintained. The first fist fight, where they proposed. But now, that bridge doesn't mean anything. First on the living. It's just, uh, you know, I, I don't know. It just makes you think. I don't want to live forever. But I don't want to die forever either. You know what I mean? I don't want to be actual nothing, you know? But an eternal consciousness is just as scary. Oh, come on. Who could possibly forget you? You're a... You know... Jacob Summers. Just how many hoodies can one closet hold? Oh, hey. See that? Not the church, but the behind the church. It's part of the old mine system. We could probably get up there if we find the other end of the tunnel. Which, you know, big if. I feel like you literally pointed past a more obvious choice. What I mean is that the ledge up there seems like the best spot to drop a transmitter. To me. But full transparency, I honestly just wanted to suggest a plan A before it became, let's climb the rickety church tower. Maybe you have other ideas. Let's not rule out the church just yet. Hey, you're the one with the transmitters. I mean, I just want to look inside. Locked. Story of my life. Huh, okay. Well, less than ideal. Come on, there's a way. There has to be. Or uh, we'll just keep saying that till we figure out there isn't. Sure. Ooh, what's this? What is this? Uh, broken? I'm not 100% no sure what it used to be, but that doesn't look functional. Huh. I think I've seen one of these before. Uh, it's a weird looking weird thing, Jacob. Please don't touch it. Oh, I'm, I'm not. Broken or not, who knows if it's grounded. I'm just curious. I wonder what that cable is connected to and what it's for. That's a good, ooh, gravestones. 1848 to 1892. 1870 to 1892. 1861 to 1892. Almost all of these over here died in 1892. Yeah, similar story over here. Something bad, I guess. Gold Rush era town. I wonder what happened. Riley, are you there? What do you want, Olivia? Over. I saw you losers walking in. But you totally didn't notice me. Oblivious. Caught up in your own crap. No one and nothing else could possibly exist. What are you doing in Garland? I tried to get some replacement tech off those, uh, whatever the hell they are. It's all bolted together, so I broke it instead. But look, you have no idea what you're trying to, like, prevent. You can't stop the weather, it's the equinox. You know what that means? No. You know that thing you saw in the sky? To you, it's the ocean. And you're trying to build a dam with twigs. It's a waste of time. And it won't work. Okay? Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of beavers, but... Listen, I'm gonna save you some trouble, because I know you're just dying to say... You think you know everything, but you're young, and blah, 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 vomit, choke, die. But here's my secret. I know that I don't know everything. I don't know how ketchup works, so save it. Well, there's not much to the condiment, just tomatoes and sugar. Probably some food dye. Go put some tomatoes in a pot and sprinkle sugar on top, see if you make ketchup. My point is, I know one thing, one thing for sure. I know what I want. I know it. And I know I can get it. And I think that's a lot more than most people. Do you know what you want, Riley? Think about that. God, what a right now, annoying person. Right, right now, I kind of want Taco Bell. Sorry. Yeah, let's hurry it up. Hmm. Parentage was trying to recruit Maggie Adler or something? 
Ingrid, while I appreciate your attempts to rouse this old sleepwalker, I don't think Parentage is the group I need. I'm sure they're good people, you're good people, but I really don't need a social club, and particularly one with such obscure beliefs. I know you said I could ignore the bells and whistles, as you put it, the star maps and all that, but I, ju I can't help but feel uneasy with the things they choose to call important. Changing the context of your perspective is manipulation, Ingrid, even if it's for an ostensibly good purpose. Regardless, at the end of the evening, I'm perfectly content with my books, my thoughts, and my easy chair. The, um... Hold on, I'm having a screen issue here. Oh, uh, here we go. The chattering of wind chimes is enough for me. Thank you for the invite. Okay, so we can't go any further this way. We can't get in the church, so we're gonna have to go down and follow that cable. Jacob, your curiosity will be slated, I think. Okay, this is how my mind works. I just remembered something. Knock, knock. Who's there? Howie. Howie who? How are we gonna hide this dead body? <laughs> yeah, that was uh, beautiful. I know. Good job, Jakey just boy. Trying to lighten Here's another one of these things. Mind. Oh, hold on. Okay, that's better. Having HDMI cable issues. All right. This is some kind of equipment. Uh, I can't tell what it's monitoring. Huh. I think I've seen one of these before. Is it uh, on or working? Whatever it is? I don't think so. Nothing's, you know, lit or whirring inside. I wonder what the Riley, cable... answer. Come on, manners. Uh, yes? Back into mildew. You notice that's all that stupid town Garland is? No wonder it was abandoned. It deserved it. You're, like, really negative. Anybody ever tell you that? No, I'm really honest. People like to mix up the two when they don't want to face the truth. I like your vest, by the way. I could never find one I liked. That wasn't, like, ten thousand dollars. Suddenly you're nice? I'm actually always nice. You're just on the other side of it. But normally I'm a plate of pancakes. It's a shame we'll never be friends. I mean, aside from the fact that you're, like, 50 or whatever. Jesus. They tell me you're dependable, reliable, have a big heart. Whatever that means. They say you're a real peach. We could still be friends, you know. And I'm actually a hundred. I just have good genes. Uh, no, we can't be friends. Not when I'm done here. It's too bad. I can never find anyone who likes vests as much as me. Maybe in the next life, you know? Maybe then all our dreams will come true and look great doing so. Maybe. Okay. Why are there so many, uh, wires, cords, cables, whatever, leading into that building? This isn't open still, right? No, no way. And they look, uh, fresh? Sure, we'll, we'll call them fresh. Either someone was here recently, or someone is here presently. Well, that's probably not good. No, probably not. Yeah, not in a creepy town like this. Garland Post Office, established 1878. All right, what's up? Wow, those are cameras everywhere. What's with the cameras? What was going on in here? Who was broadcasting what? All this radio equipment. Andrew Rhines, Postmaster, 1878 to 1903. Must have been the first. Huh? Oh, right. First Postmaster for the town. Yeah, that makes sense. Why they'd hang a picture. 1878. Wow. Kind of got some Teddy Roosevelt vibes. He looks more easygoing, though. Jesus! Oh, God. They took my picture. I wasn't expecting that. Hey, if you're in the post office and you're a human being, uh, answer this, huh? please. Who's that? Uh, hi. Y yes, I'm I'm a human. Yeah, of course you are. At least tell me you didn't break my equipment. Over. Just wait, slow down. First, who is this? Over. Name's Hank Chapman, and I just took your picture. Assuming you were facing the camera. Otherwise, it'll be the wall. Jesus, you're not a creep, are you? Tell me this isn't a creep thing. Over. The picture's there. Keep it if you want. Not a creep, just curious. 
Listen, I'm an amateur hobbyist investigator of the inexplicable. And I don't know if you've noticed, but tonight has been... The professionals would likely call it unusual. <laughs> yeah. Around town, I've set That's up a, a word series for of it. EMF boosters. Equipment I use to capture, well, let's call it evidence of the unusual. Something's been screwing with them, so I need them checked. One of them is outright not responding. I'm assuming the worst. Can you help me out? Sure, you got it. It's a good deed for messing up the picture. Think of it as karma. Now, there's a generator in the post office with you that powers the boosters. Think of the EMF boosters like a safe. You put in the right code, you get to see what's inside. If you spot anything, maybe snap a picture. If you can, I'll make it worth your while. Call if you have any trouble. See you in the obit. Over and out. I think he's talking about this thing, right? It says EMF on the side here. You think this could help us? Eh, you know, Hank seems like a, I want to say a nice guy, but these EMF booster things... It's a fun pet project for him, but unless they're going to help us plant this transmitter, I say let's ignore it and try the mines. You know? Well, I don't know. We'll see. I don't want to dismiss anything that might be of use. No, no, no. I, I, I get that. I, I just don't see how this will be of use yet. Uh, you never know until you try. Tragedy. Twelve lives claimed in deadly mineshaft collapse. Latimer Mines no longer in operation. Garland mourns its greatest enterprise alongside 12 cherished sons. Ugh. From 1892. I guess that's when things started to go downhill. Yep. I uh, think that came from outside. Hank mentioned grabbing a picture. I've got my camera with me. Let's see if we find anything flashworthy. Well, I saw a rift over here earlier. Yeah, Check that's just weird. Another one. The last one was helpful. Maybe whatever's inside this one will be too. Or uh, whenever's inside. Fair enough. But that'll be a mystery for the next episode because I think we're going to have to go ahead and stop this one here. Uh, I have plans. So anyways, that'll be it for this episode. Also, I need some time to process that plot twist because god damn, I still can't get over that. Holy shit. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, anyways, let me know your thoughts on that crazy-ass twist in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, remember to click the like button. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. And I will catch you possibly on another day, definitely in another time, and likely in another video. Okay, goodbye.